Hey there guys, today I got a tubular lock. Here's a look at the keyway. It's gonna be seven pins. The barrel, or not the barrel, but the diameter is too small for a uh, southward pick, traditional tubular pick. Bow the keyway, there's a code. It's zero, five, zero, zero. And I hopefully will be able to pick this open. It's fairly difficult because of the tensioning that you gotta give it. Okay, there's that. Give this a shot here. Alrighty, here we go. There's one pen. Another pen. Another pen. Come on, baby. There it is open. Yeah. Um, what's really neat about this lock, um, it's super tiny, I wish it was a lot bigger. Uh, but what's really neat about this lock, uh, I think it's neat, is that the plug, uh, if you've seen in my description, I say the plug is uh, spring loaded. And I'll try to show you what that means. Basically there's tension on the plug right now. Um, see if I can, uh, pick this back and the plug will auto rotate. Let me see here. Uh, sometimes easier than actually picking it open. There's one, two, Sometimes, nope. There we go. It started to go when I pushed that pin and I just stuck my pick in and moved it all the way over. There it is. Um, don't know the brand name of the lock. It's very tiny. Uh, to give you, I guess, a comparison, this would be a southward pick handle. Not sure if you guys can see that because of the glare. Um, and what I did was, I took a standard uh, southward uh, reverse ramp rake and cut the head off. I did this years ago. Uh, it's probably a mistake because you can uh, probably just use a hook pick for something like this. But, uh, and here's a look at the tension wrench that I used. It's just a double sided tension wrench with the top of it, or the longer end of it, filed down. Um, yep, there you guys go. Um, as always, have a good one. 